All right, so in our final lesson here, we're going to go ahead here and take our hat from my app into the Steam Workshop and into Team Fortress 2. So um, first things that we want to go ahead and do here is just make sure that our model is, you know, set properly on, some, on our hat or on our head here. Um, I definitely know the, um, the Sniper's Australian. Um, this hat is meant to serve just simply as a demonstration purpose. Okay, so let's go ahead and let's select our model. Um, we're going to come up here to mesh. Let's go ahead and triangulate our model. Um, make sure that we go ahead and actually soften our normals. Let's go ahead and export this out as an OBJ. Um, this is going to be our level 1 definition OBJ. And I'm just simply de um, desk uh, exporting this to the desktop. So we'll call this the Americana LOD1. Okay, um, we're also going to come in here to our reduce tool. Let me go ahead and bring over the tools. Go ahead and reset the setting. Um, I'm going to reduce it by something like, say, 10%. Okay, and just making sure that uh, the UVs and stuff are all going to stay the same, and that looks fine. So let's go ahead and export this out as uh, our level of definition number two. Okay, so this will be the Americana LOD number two okay now what we also need to go ahead and do is jump into Photoshop here and our normal map is 4096 by 4096 same with our our hat texture but valve doesn't necessarily want you to give them a texture map that's that large because if they tend to render that in game for every hat that would actually be in game it's just going to be too much for them to render so we have to go ahead and scale this down so it has to be either 512 or 256 by 256 um, so let's just say 256 should be fine okay let's just save this out as a tar um, a target file and we'll just call this uh, the Americana kind of normals okay and that's a TGA file and we'll do the same thing here for the uh, the actual hat texture. Save this out as a TGA file as well. Okay. And make sure that that's all going to be on our desktop there so we can go ahead and just minimize this out or even close it out if we want. Um, let's open our source SDK. Now it's important that um, if you download the source SDK in Team Fortress 2 you have to own the game to contribute art for it. Um, the game is fairly cheap. It's something like five bucks or something or it's free to play but you just have to you know buy something from the store to actually be able to create art for it. Um, but once you download the S um, source SDK you gotta make sure that you launch it at least one time so that you get all those libraries so you're then able to actually um, compile models for the game. So let's just go ahead and click our item test and you can see where we have a couple invalid slots here um, and this is because we don't have any name in here so we just you know need to name our hat call it the Americana. The class is definitely going to be a sniper class. We want to go ahead and auto skin this to the head bone so that it's going to place properly and it's going to look the same as we have inside of inside of Maya okay so let's go ahead and click next let's browse for our level of definition meshes here so we just need to go ahead and select our desktop where our um, model is so we'll select the first level of definition select our second level of definition go ahead and hit next our common texture it's going to be in the same directory there so let's come down here and do the same thing sniper hat we just want to grab our texture file same thing here for our normal file go up and bring our console window up and you can see now that we're ready to actually go ahead and compile and these are going to be the directories where um, your models are going to lie and I'll show you whenever we go to actually submit this into the Steam Workshop so I'm just going to go ahead and hit compile and let just let this run through and you can see that it compiled okay which means that we have everything correctly placed and you know there's no no issues in terms of geometry textures or normals or anything so we'll just hit continue and we'll go ahead and close that 
I'm going to go ahead and pause the video here and launch Team Fortress 2 real quick. Okay, so now that we're inside of Team Fortress 2, we need to go ahead and test our model. So let's go ahead and hit our tilde key, which will bring up our developer console. I'm going to hit map, item, test, and this is going to bring up our test map, and I'm going to go ahead and pause this while this loads. Okay, so now that our map is loaded here, let's go ahead and hit continue, continue twice. Select our sniper. Okay, and we just need to go ahead and move out here. As you can see that there's no item, or our model's not actually in the game here. So we need to go ahead and hit F7. Select our sniper for our testing class. Okay, select our headgear. Select model. And you see this little cryptic sort of name and this is um, pretty much our Steam ID as well as um, our model file so we need, need to just go ahead and bring that in hit apply test items and there you can see our hat is actually in the game here um, if we can go ahead and move out here you can see that our hat has actually been brought into the uh, the game engine and if you want to you know maybe let's say rotate on the spot just hit apply just to check the entire model you can see where he's now going to actually rotate and you can go ahead and check the entire model um, that you want and it actually looks you know pretty good for say like an hour and a half of work um, and that's pretty much the easiest way to to get a model from Maya into the source um, game engine but now let's say that you want to actually go ahead and upload that into say the steam workshop so let me go ahead and just exit here. We'll just go ahead and disconnect. Okay. And you basically want to take all of these compiled files um, into Team Fortress 2. So let me go ahead and pause this real quick again. Okay, so now that I've um, come back here, we need to, like I said, take all these files into Team Fortress 2 that we have compiled so we can submit these into the Steam Workshop so what you want to do is just come up to your um, your account name go into your Team Fortress 2 folder TF you want to take the the models folder go into player items sniper whatever class it's for okay so just you know hit control C uh, and then you can just simply jump back to your desktop of where that information is and we'll just need to go to users my name desktop um, sniper hat and this is what we're going to actually be sending valve okay so you want to say something like valve sent and then we'll go ahead and create two folders here one which will be the models folder okay and we'll just go ahead and hit control V to paste that in there as well and then we're also going to come in here to the materials folder models player items sniper which is that so we'll go ahead and just you know copy the sniper folder again create a new folder here call this materials and we'll go ahead and paste this okay go ahead and close our steam directory there and let's just say you know you want to submit this to the Steam Workshop, so um, we can go ahead into our workshop here, and you can see some of the other items that I've actually published. Okay, so let's just go ahead and hit Publish New Item here, and you can call this say something like the Americana. Um, I'm not necessarily going to go ahead and type out a description here. I mean, we can just call this simple hat for sniper. Um, you can also always, you know, browse an image that you've created from an in an in-game shot for the model. Um, for the model, you can always come in here and hit browse for the file that we we, we will need. But if you want to go ahead and do that, you want to make sure that you uh, go ahead and zip this. So, Ericana, and then just take the the valve folder that we've created here zip that and since it's on our desktop we can simply just come in here upload that select our class um, select it as headgear and then we can just go ahead and uh, hit submit here but we'll need to actually place an image here ok 
Okay, so let's go ahead and just select our texture, and that should be fine. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and you know delete this once I go ahead and submit it here. So we'll just hit submit, and this will just take a, a few seconds to to go ahead, and that's all depending on your file size and whatnot. Uh, let's just see if this is going to load real quick before I actually have to pause the video. Okay, and there you can see that it actually loaded through. Um, and once you actually load it through, you can see where your model is going to come up. And you want, really want to try to keep that file size low. Um, and you can always, you know, say if you want to add another user to uh, share the revenue with. Say if you've worked on an, uh, a model with another person or, or whatnot, you can go ahead and do that as well. Um, but for me, I'm not going to really go ahead and actually submit this into the Steam Workshop for the moment because I want to make a couple in-game shots that uh, I'll go ahead and also upload. Um, and I think that's it for, for what we need to, to actually learn in terms of taking a model from you know ZBrush to Maya to, to Team Fortress 2 in the Source game engine. Um, Valve, like I said, has designed it so that it's very simple now. Um, just making sure that you have two levels of definition, you know, your textures are right and your normals are, are correct, so um, that's basically about it. I um, hope you guys have enjoyed this tutorial. Uh, big thanks has to definitely go out to Ben and Chris Tate for allowing me to go ahead and bring this tutorial to you guys. Um, definitely to Valve for, for at least having a, a game that's, you know, very popular nowadays, um, and especially for being able to to create art that's you know really easy in terms of getting that art into the game and so um like i said i hope you guys have enjoyed watching the tutorial um and if you have questions you know definitely post them on the site um or email me and i'll try to answer them as as best that i possibly can so uh thanks for watching and have a good one